what's the word everybody it's your boy jay sites and i'm back with another late night tutorial and tonight i'm about to teach y'all how to do this quick ass effect i'm gonna tell you right now that you might have to go you know make this purchase but you feel me this is this this right here is is very worth it. you feel what i'm saying like this right here could change the game for you if you just fig you know what i'm saying if you just use this you could get it from AE Scripts. It's called Quick Death by BSKL. And let me just show y'all some thick ways that you can use it. So I already got it installed and I'm currently using the first version. This is the new one. They just dropped this. But yeah, I have the first version and it works just as fine. So let's uh, add Quick Death. And you see it's gathering mostly just a subject you feel what i'm saying and you can do things like get a turbo this is more like a like a heat type of thing super cool i can track i can detect heat plasma but we're gonna stick with the regular depth map right and we're gonna change the quality from one to four so now once we do that we get a little more life to this so I like to fix this up because we get some jagged edges. I like to use a Gaussian blur. And I just boost this Gaussian blur up just a tad bit. And then I duplicate this clip. I delete everything off the top one. And I just turn this off and name this matte. So I'm gonna show you like one or two ways. One way. You could just add an adjustment layer and you can add either a camera lens blur by After Effects, right? And I'm going to choose the matte as the layer. Sorry, the blur matte. And now I'm going to bump the blur radius up like this. And I'm gonna press invert on the blur map. And boom, just that easy. You feel what I'm saying? Let me show you another way we could use this. And I'm gonna keep this on here. I'm gonna, well, you know, I'm gonna put a different blur. If you have sapphire, you can do things like add Z to focus blur. And you can use the same exact track map and you can play with the focal length. Oh. You put that in full and you really take a look at that. It's clean because the blur defeated all of the jagged edges and stuff like that. So now we could even do things like add glow. I'm really not a big fan of S glow. But since S Glow, you're able to just use the mat. It's super cool. You can go here, add mat to this, change mass uh mass from layer to mat. And now let's just play with the brightness real quick to see what we playing with. Alright, so you see it's brightening up his shirt, but we could just do this. Invert mat and boom. Now we brightening up things in the background so I'm gonna change that back to zero because I know it's too big bring down the threshold up the glow width and then we could do things like even add in a flicker but instead I'm gonna use film damage Right? And I'm gonna use the mat one more time. <laughs> and I'm gonna have my grain, zero, stain, zero, dust, zero, hairs, zero, scratches, zero, off the scene, zero. Down. Black dot. So now let's, let's let this render out real quick and let's see how that looks. Black dot. Dun-dun. 
Splatter. Splatter. Y'all yeah, can't lie, that is crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, if y'all enjoyed this quick ass tutorial, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what y'all trying to see next.